What's good people, it's your boy Fresh, welcome to the channel, and today we'll be reviewing Samsung's Galaxy Tab S2. Alright, so to give you guys a little bit of history with this device, uh, pretty much I've owned it since December of last year, so around Christmas time, Verizon was offering an insane deal, it was half off. So I got it for 250 bucks, whereas normally it was 500, so I couldn't beat it, I decided to get it back then, and I haven't regretted it since. Uh, normally what I use it for is general media consumption, I watch videos on it, I reply to your comments, uh, you know, social media, Reddit, uh, Twitter, all kind of stuff, Instagram. Um, also I use it for my voiceovers, so I use Evernote on it to do my voiceovers, to take notes. Um, also if I'm at a meeting or at class, I don't want to bring paper, I just type notes on it. Uh, it's my general all around tablet. Uh, and then also it's Verizon 4G LTE, so it's connected wherever, everywhere I go. So the mobile use is there, I don't have to worry about connecting to Wi-Fi or Starbucks or McDonald's. Um, it just works everywhere. Now as usual, let's start off with the things that I actually like about the tablet. And first and foremost, the design is amazing on this. It's extremely thin, probably one of the thinnest tablets that I've ever used. Also, it's really light at 13.38 grams. And for a tablet that's, you know, close to 10 inches, this thing is featherweight. Also, the beveled edges is pretty nice. It reminds me of the Note 4 that I still own, as well as it's extremely clean. So with Ryzen, they only offered the white edition. Uh, so, I mean, I was kind of peeved about it early on. I was like, man, I wish I could just get a black one, but this white is really clean and it looks pretty classy in my opinion. Secondly, I like the speed of this tablet. So when you're using a tablet, it's a larger display. It's very important that your tablet is fluid. Uh, you don't want to experience any hiccups because those are amplified on a larger screen. It's really noticeable when your screen is lagging or graphics aren't loading properly. But with this tablet, I've experienced zero lag whatsoever. I think that may be attributed to the fact that Samsung went with their Exynos 7 octa-core processor on this one, so it was a great decision to go with that processor. Uh, gaming is flawless as well. I'll be having some gameplay on the screen for you guys right now to witness. Um, overall, it's very fluid, very fast, and there's no complaints out of me with the speed. Thirdly, what I like about this tablet is the fact that it's 4G connected through Verizon. Now, the ability to actually use your tablet on the go and while you're traveling, at work, on break, wherever you go without having to connect to any Wi-Fi is a huge convenience. I don't have to turn my hotspot on on my phone. I don't have to figure out what the password is to some local Panera or uh, Noodles and Company. I don't have to, you know, go through their website, type in their ridiculous receipt number or anything like that. It's always connected and the convenience is unexplainable. Um, I've used a lot of Wi-Fi tablets in the past and I will never go back to using a Wi-Fi only tablet. The fact that I'm telling you, the connectivity of this is amazing, and it's something that's very small and minute that you would think, eh, it's not a very big deal, but it's a huge convenience. Now to move on to what I don't like about this tablet, or should I say what I didn't like about this tablet. So early on, the battery life on this was complete trash, garbage, throw it away, it was horrible. I, I barely even used the tablet for that simple reason, because every time I went to go use it, it was dead. Um, the standby time was completely horrible. The usage time, the screen on time was garbage, um, but since the past, what, three, four days, they've released the Marshmallow update to this device, and it has changed completely. It is night and day. The standby time is amazing. Uh, the usage time, I'm able to get over two days on it. Um, it's overall amazing with Doze feature on Marshmallow. This is something that this tablet should have launched with, honestly. We all know how Samsung is when it comes to rolling out updates, but I am so glad that they decided to push the update to this tablet because it needed it really bad. Um, but yeah, that was a con, but now it's a pro and I couldn't say anything greater about it. It's amazing now, and I'm glad they did it. And now for my final verdict on this tablet. Now, considering that my con is now a pro, there's literally nothing I can say that I don't like about this tablet. I mean, from start to finish, the design is amazing. It's flawless, it's light, it's thin. Uh, the beveled edges, the 2K screen, uh, the resolution on that is amazing. The camera's eight megapixels if you care about taking pictures with the tablet, which I don't. <laughs> uh, the 4G connectivity, like I said, is extremely convenient. Uh, the performance is amazing for gaming and general use. I mean, this tablet is a 10 out of 10, honestly. There's really nothing that I don't like about it. It's amazing from start to finish. And one thing I would say is that you may want to wait until it goes back on sale. Once again, I got it for 250. Its retail price is 500. Um, so at 500 bucks, it's pretty expensive. Once again, I mean, it's on par with a lot of other tablets in that price range. But considering that they offer a lot of promotions, I'd say you may want to wait because you can save yourself a lot of money. Um, but if you guys own this tablet personally, be sure to let me know what your guys' thoughts are on it um, down below in the comments, what you thought of this review. If you like these reviews, be sure to smash that like button. And if you haven't seen my content before, be sure to subscribe for more. But that's about it for me, guys. Stay fresh. Stay tuned. Peace.